Hello everyone, I wanted to give you a little walkthrough of the Send Deck. Here is a very well loved and very well used Send Deck. This is the first right one that we made and we went through a lot of trial and error to get to this. So I want to show you what it has the potential to hold. One thing I always have is glue because I do a lot of messy kind of collage work. So I love to glue things in. I also have scissors for that same reason. I use small scissors if I'm traveling anywhere, like where I'm getting on a plane or something, and I use big scissors if I'm just traveling locally. Both fit in nicely. I tend to put these on an end on one of the smaller pockets, and these I put anywhere. It depends what I have in my send deck. So these pockets, one of the most common requests that we get, and one of the things that people tend to comment on is that these pencil pockets are too small for fountain pens. While that's true of this Koweiko cap, the bottom fits, the top doesn't. This vintage technical pen is pretty chunky, so I put them in all the time. I carry two or three, and you can see how it kind of brings the Sendak together. So ultimately, it's giving me a little bit less room. It's making other things more tight, but really, it's fine. One thing that I want to say is that when it's new, it might be tight to even just fit a pencil in, but as you use it, it loosens up a little bit, and then it doesn't loosen any further. That's where it's going to stay. Once you use it more, you can easily fit two standard pencils into each slot. So it's really not a too small slot. I do the same thing with paintbrushes. I also have these, I love these beginners pencils. That's really soft lead. I love making marks that are a little less particular than say when I'm using my mechanical pencil, which I also love. So these are some of the supplies that I carry every day. I think where the variation comes in is which pencils I want, which softnesses, or if I want a water-soluble pencil. Put these guys right here. It's important to note the black wing fits in. This one was sharpened once and it makes it a perfect fit. This was never sharpened and the eraser is worn down a bit. So it's just above that folding point. It'll obviously still work, but I know these are awesome pencils that a lot of people have, so I want to show you that. Another thing that I carry are dippy pens, and I will put pen nibs into a tin. I love using antique tins to store pen nibs and in this case, a kneaded eraser. So these are great for little art supplies. And then I just put it into the pocket here. I put another regular eraser when pencils get too small for here, then I'll put it in the pocket. Here's some extra lead for my mechanical pencils. And I often have a white gouache in here as well and a pencil sharpener. So you can fit a lot in here. I like not to overstuff it so that it folds nicely. I really like this folding rather than rolling. So we have 16 pen and pencil slots in the front and then we have four pockets here. So these are varying widths. You can see the width of this smaller one that I use for scissors or pencils. So I use the bigger pockets here for the sketchbook. These Aura landscapes we make and we made them to fit into both this Sendak and the mini Sendak. So they serve as a tool protector, should you need it. If I was putting a dippy pen whose nib needed protected or paintbrushes, that would be a great tool protector. We also sell tool protectors separately if you don't want a sketchbook or the Iris Painters palette. So this is another product that we make. This is for squeezing in wet tube paints, watercolors, or in this case, making your own and filling up these wells with paint. So this was made to fit in the Sendak as well. So I'm gonna put that in the middle pocket. I'm gonna put these in the back here and some scissors. And I want to have another paintbrush and then whatever colors I wanna bring. Sometimes I get really organized and other times I just put stuff in. You don't have to be crazy overthinking this. It's just really supposed to hold what you need, what you need for the day, what you need for a week, what you need for a trip. I also often have a bookbinding needle on the top here and I'll put some bookbinding thread here for if I wanna make a book, in which case I'll also prepare by having folded paper here. These outside pockets otherwise are great for random size sketchbooks like this. This would have been one of those random ones I made. I love this tin. It's for 15 Neo colors, but I've had this for years and I move pastels or other more delicate stuff into here that I don't want to crumble in the pen pockets. And then it's a really nice fit for this back area. This is our Aura portrait sketchbook, which we made to fit into the Send deck. So we have three sizes of these. We have the portrait, we have a large portrait, and then we have the landscape. So when I fold up the send deck, this one's pretty full with everything that I just stuffed into the outside. But when I fold it up, I will hold everything down and pull this so it folds nicely. And then I fold it up so that all my parts of the send deck are where they should be. 
and then I just cinch it. And this is full. I would say this is pretty full. I have stuff in every pocket. In some instances, I have more than one thing in a pocket. There's still a lot of room on this leather. And that's it. It'll fit nicely into my bag. I've got what I need for a long time. Another question that we've had is about this buckle. This comes from a gunsling from maybe the 40s. And it was intended to function exactly as we use it. We found that it just really holds the Sendai together nicely. And of course we love incorporating old bits wherever we can into whatever we make. So there you have it. My Sendak, lovingly worn in and full of life. <laughs>